Hi everybody, it's Margie from Bumbles and Fairy Tales, and I'm here to share my September TBR. My kids are going back to school, and with all the new releases that are happening this month, my ambition to read as many books as possible is pretty high. Um, so I'm hoping to get at least 10 to 12 of the books I'm going to show you read this month. Um, I'm going to start with the books I'm currently reading right now. The first one is Made for You by Melissa Marr. To say this book has surprised me is an understatement. I mean, I read the summary on the back and it's actually not what I expected at all. The first two chapters just blew my mind and I don't want to say anything because I feel like if I say anything it's going to spoil it for people. So I'm already trying to plan ahead like what I'm going to write in my review or say in my wrap up and I feel like there's nothing that I can say without giving something away. Um, so it's really 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 good so far. I mean I'm not even, I'm only on page 57 and I'm like wishing that I had the time to just sit and read it straight through. It is so good. And I'm really liking it. I can't wait to get through it and, and get to the ending to find out what exactly is going on. The other book that I'm in the middle of reading of, and it is Divinity by Michelle L. Johnson. This comes from Spun City. It's an adult book. Um, it's about angels. Um, her dad is the Archangel Gabriel. And that's basically what I know just of it from the first few chapters right now. And all that's explained on the back in the summary anyway. So. No spoilers there. Um, the writing is really good so far, and like I said, I can't wait to get in more into it and find out what all the angel stuff is. So the next book I plan on picking up is The Fault of Dreamers by Kara O'Brien. Um, all I know about this is it's like a reality show, a school on a reality show, and you're supposed to go to sleep by a certain time um, because statistics say that if you get enough sleep, then you can perform. Um, better and the school is an art school so the main character forgets to take her pills to go to sleep when she's supposed to go to sleep and then she finds out that all this stuff is happening while you're sleeping with dreams and all that stuff. So obviously there's a sci-fi as aspect to the story and I'm really looking forward to it. The next book that I plan on picking up is Being Audrey Hepburn by Mitchell Kreigman. Um, this is a contemporary about a girl who kind of looks like Audrey Hepburn and then tries on the famous little black dress and somehow, some way from there, she becomes really popular. She's thrown into the socialite scene and it sounds like a really fun contemporary to get into. The next book I hope to dive into is a pretty big monster. It is Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I have never read a book by him before and he's always been highly recommended to me and I'm glad to finally be able to read something by him. This book, as everybody knows, is a book within the book. Basically, the main character is writing the book so we get to see her story as she's trying to write this book and get it published. And then we're also reading the story that she's writing or written. And it sounds really interesting to have like these unique dual kind of like point of views so or dual stories in there. I don't know. I'm just really, really excited to see how this is going to work. The next book I hope to read is Stray by Alyssa Sussman. This is about a princess who has to give up all her royalties and become a fairy godmother. That's all I need to know. I can't wait to read this one. The next one is another contemporary and it's by Sarah Shepard called The Perfectionists. This one is said to be a story about five girls who know you don't have to be perfect. That's all I know. I haven't read the rest of the summary, so um, I've never read a book by her, and I'm excited to finally be able to read something written by Sarah Shepard. The next book I hope to read is Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. In my book haul, I had mentioned that there was a possibility that there were zombies in this story. There is not. 
I was told specifically that there are no zombies in this story. It's kind of like a metaphorical kind of thing going on. Um, I don't consider that spoilery, but if you do, um, my deepest apologies. <laughs> but no zombies. Just basic, straight up horror and a Ikea-like story. And last, and certainly not least, I've been dying to read this for so long and I just haven't had the chance for it just yet, and that's The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Heard so many great things about this. It's, um, I believe, an adult book, and it's really high fantasy, and I usually, it, high fantasy is usually hit or miss with me. It doesn't really grasp me right in the beginning, and like I said, I have a hard time with like a lot of details. So if the details are really interesting and good, then I'll be able to get into it. But otherwise, it might be a struggle. And this is a book that I really, really, really want to love and just fall into. And I keep putting it off because I don't, I just don't want to be in the minority with this one. <laughs> So that's my list. If you guys are planning on reading any of the same books, let me know down in the comments below. If you've read some of them ahead of time already, give me some feedback. Let me know what sounds promising. Maybe I'll bump it up on my list. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.